My journey to learn the Brazilian banjo started over 20 years ago. Growing up in Brazil, I lived in a tiny shack with my mom and four of my siblings. The only time I had to practice was after midnight when I go back home from work and school. The banjo is loud and I couldn't make any noise at night or else my entire family and the neighbors wouldn't be able to sleep. But I always had that desire to learn how to play in the back of my mind. I moved to Canada five years ago, and I miss my home country and its beautiful music. I wanted to give it another try. A few months before the pandemic started, my partner took a trip to Brazil, and I asked her to bring a Brazilian banjo back to my new home in Canada. When the pandemic hit, I was out of work and with more time on my hands. Finally, I could pick up the banjo and learn to play. I started to take lessons over Zoom with an instructor in my hometown of São Paulo. E fora a questão da autoestima, né, cara? Tem essa possibilidade de interagir com você aí virtualmente e tal. E não was practicing for hours a day to help me get through those initial months of the pandemic. The banjo originally comes from Africa, and it was popularized in the United States. Then, in the late 1970s, it was reshaped in Brazil to create a different sound for pagode. The banjo got a shorter neck, just four strings, and it is strum as if it were a drum. During the pandemic, lots of people learn new hobbies. Many people learn musical instruments. This was my pandemic silver lining, and it helped me spread my Afro-Brazilian culture in Canada.